Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joyce and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can make vegan empanadas and they are not only vegan but they are delicious you can share them with your vegan friends or vegetarian friends and your meat eater friends i guarantee that these are going to be delicious and because we are going through december and vlogmas here in my channel i'm gonna share this recipe with you and i'm gonna show you how you can do it you can also find that recipe on the description down below white flour or whole wheat flour also we're going to need coconut oil and I'm gonna be using a coke these are the ingredients that my mom used to use she usually used vegetable oil instead but I'm gonna be using coconut oil so I'm gonna be using that flour this sugar and I'm gonna be using coconut oil instead of vegetable oil this is the coke that I'm gonna be using I have here the flour and the coconut oil and I'm gonna be integrating all. This is very weird for me using a Coke. I asked my mom if she was sure about these ingredients and she said she was. We didn't use any baking soda or baking powder as you can tell, so this is definitely replacing all of those ingredients and they are simple ingredients and I ended up using around a kilo of flour like a quarter, a little bit less than a quarter of coconut oil and then around 500 milliliters of coke The steam process is really important. You really need to make sure you have the right texture. And I was constantly FaceTiming my mom to make sure that this was the right texture. And it wasn't too mushy, it wasn't too dry. It was just perfect at the end. Now it's time to make our little bowls so we can start making the empanadas. Just pouring a little bit of flour to the table so when I roll the empanadas they don't stick to the table. Because this was the first time that I was making this, I was really unsure of the shape and uh, um, how thick they should be. So that's why I just kept trying at the beginning but then after like a few of those I was just really sure or how on how I wanted them.
Okay, so the next step is the filling and we're going to be using pineapple jam and I'm going to be using this one. Okay, and I'm going to be using a little bit of flour. It will be, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of flour, a little bit more. I'm going to mix it together. And this is just so the pineapple jam don't get out of the dough from the empanadas. It smells delicious. Now that this is ready, we're gonna put this aside and I'm gonna bring a few and I'm gonna show you how to fill them and how you can close them. Using a fork is the easiest process for me and is what I was taught as a child when I was helping my mom doing this. So you will do this and just pick the empanada in the center three times and it will be done. It's really simple and easy. You can also do it this way, but I feel like this way it's a little bit more difficult for me at least, so I prefer to do it with a fork. And on top of the empanadas, we're going to put some sugar. I'm gonna pour in some, like half of a cup here, just to see how it goes. And mixed with cinnamon. So because I love cinnamon, I used like a quarter of a cup of uh, cinnamon, but you can use less than that maybe. The this mixture is ready, you will pour it on the empanadas. Put it when they are still hot because they need to be really hot because we didn't add any egg wash or in any other bother and let me show you what I have here like a bunch of empanadas I have to make two batches and one of them is from strawberry jam as you can see and the other one is from pineapple and you can see that they are a little bit brown because i love a cinnamon so i added a lot of cinnamon and sugar and i'm gonna save these for tomorrow's dessert i hope you liked this video and if you did please don't forget to click on the like button and on the subscribe button down below thank you so much for watching and see you the next time bye bye